you doing? This is Evangelist Rayford Johnson, also known as Brother Ray. I'm coming uh, to you today with another quick cast. Now today I'm going to be talking about meditating on the Word of God. Now, Joshua 1 and 8 tells us if we can meditate on the Word of God day and night, that we're going to have good success. Uh, the reason why I'm going to touch on this topic is because usually after deliverance, um, we have people that get delivered from demonic spirits and addictions, and um, you know they're joyful, happy, but then a week later or two, we get a phone call, and they've been attacked again, or the addiction has come back. Okay, why does this happen? Because see, after we get delivered, one gets delivered from demonic spirits, addictions, oppression, whatever have you, okay, you have to put back within you the Word of God. You know, just like surgery. When the Holy Spirit does surgery, because that's what deliverance is, it's kind of like Holy Spirit surgery, uprooting those demonic spirits, those demonic curses out of you. But after surgery, what do you need? You need antibiotics. You need, you know, certain types of medication uh, and ointments that help your recovery. Well, that's what the Word of God is. See, some people get uprooted and it's just, you know, yeah, it's gone, but they leave themselves wide open. And many people go back to filling themselves up with the same thing. Like somebody gets delivered from lust, but yet the next day they're back watching lustful TV shows and listening to secular music with all types of lustful lyrics in it, okay? And many people look at deliverance almost like an oil change, you know? Just clean my oil, I'm going to ride another 3,000 miles hard, then I'll come back for another cleaning. No, you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, when a spirit, you know, uh, comes out, if that person gives place for that person to come back, for that them demons to come back in through legalities, which is sin, that demon will bring seven more demons stronger than themselves, you know, to create that stronghold. Okay, so once we are delivered, once you, and not just for deliverance, just in general, you have to meditate on the Word of God. There's a lot of Christians out there, we're going to talk about the difference between just reading and meditating. Okay, you have to meditate because you have a lot of Christians out there and they're wondering, you know, the word of God doesn't seem like it has any power. I pray and nothing happens. I say in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, and, and, and nothing seems to happen. Well, that's a lot of times because that individual has the word of God just in their head. They don't have the word of God in their spirit. I remember T.B. Joshua, um, he's a, a powerful deliverance minister in Africa. He said something that really stuck with me. You know, he's talking about meditating the Word of God, getting it out of your head into your spirit. He says, then when you speak, when you're led by the Spirit, now there's power. Okay? They said the Spirit and the Word of God go together. See, you have a lot of people that create a lot of different religions and denominations. Why? You know, based on, you know, Christian theology, because they take the Word of God out of context. It must be led by the Spirit. Some people just walk up, oh, you're going to be healed in Jesus' name. No, you don't You don't really know that. Yeah, the Word of God says, by Jesus' stripes we're healed. But you never know. That person could be in unforgiveness, right? Have sin in his life that needs to be repented first. And yet, you know, you have some people that just go in and just boldly proclaim, even by faith, that they're going to be healed. But they don't get healed. Why? Because they weren't led by the Spirit. Okay? Bible says it's not good to be zealous without knowledge. So you have to meditate. And what does meditating on the Word of God mean? It means reading, as uh, T.B. Joshua said. It says reading the Word slowly, attentively, and repetitively, over and over and over. And after you read about it, you think about it. You pray about it. You take each word and dissect it, right? For example, you can take a scripture such as, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. I, okay, that's personal, can, okay, I can, I can, the word of God says I can, do, do, 
okay? Do what I need to do. All things, okay? So all things, there's nothing, you know, there's no limit to what I can do. I can do all things through, okay? Through, because Christ is in me. Through Christ. Through Christ. So that means Christ is in me. Through Christ who strengthens me. So Christ strengthens me. If Christ, the creator of this universe, you know, my Savior, my God, can lives within me, there's nothing I can't do. And he will lead me and guide me. You see, you start meditating on that, it's going to come out of your head into your spirit. Now when you speak, there's power. Okay, now there's authority because you're being led by the Holy Spirit to speak the word. Now when you say, in Jesus' name, I cast you demon out of this individual. Now that demon has to go because now it's under authority. You're not just talking out of your head. You're talking from the Spirit of God. You see, Jesus said, my words are spirit. My words are spirit. It's spiritual. Okay? So we have to meditate on the Word of God. Another one. You know, by Jesus' stripes. Right? By His stripes, I am healed. Talking about by Jesus' stripes that He bore on His back. Right? We are healed. So I think about that. By Okay, Jesus, Yeshua's stripes. Yeshua is Jesus in Hebrew. Okay? That he got when he, when he was whipped by that suffering. Okay, let me think about that. By that suffering, okay, he suffered for that just like he atoned, uh, you know, for my sins on the cross, for my sins. He suffered that whipping so that I could be healed from my sickness and disease. You meditate on that. And you lay hands on yourself. You say, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. And you meditate on that. Remember, slowly, repetitively, and attentively, you know, pay attention to what you're saying. Say it over and over. Say it slowly, you know? Just like you're chewing. It's like, you know, you can get a, a good plate of food, but if you just put it in your mouth, and you just chew, you don't even chew it, you're not going to get the nutrients. What do they tell you? Chew your food good. I forgot how many times they tell you to chew your food each bite. Well, why do you chew it? Because you're getting the, the nutrients. It's going to, into your body, into your blood system, and it's, you know, uh, strengthening you. That's the same with the Word of God. You don't just read it. Some people just read it, and they don't meditate on it. It's like putting food in your mouth and never chewing but like I said, it's important. Just find scriptures. And I tell you, whatever you're battling with, okay? Is it with the uh, your mind? 1 Corinthians 2.16. What does that say? We have the mind of Christ. Okay? So if I'm feeling that, you know, I can't pass this test that I'm taking. Alright? I, I feel like I'm not smart enough. Or I can't figure something out. 1 Corinthians 2.16, I meditate on, I have the mind, the mind of Christ. Now Christ, we all know, is beyond genius. So if I have his mind, if I have access to his mind, his mind is within me, right? I could also take that other scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. See, and I tell people, use Google, like I said, for whatever case, you know, like I said, whatever situation you're going through, if you're dealing with lust, Google scriptures on lust. There's a lot of ministers that put stuff online, got a lot of good brothers and sisters in Christ that have a lot of good scriptures addressing different areas, finances, you know, um, depression, right? You know, these are things that, you know, you can use. Uh, you know, use your resources wisely. A lot of people just Google entertainment. You know, use Google, right, or any other search engine to gather, you know, use your resources to gather scriptures, right, which is your sword against the enemy and meditate on it and categorize it, 
you know, have uh, you know, a whole category of scriptures, you know, on three by five cards dealing with sickness. Okay? Have other ones maybe dealing with finances. You know, like I said, you know, Proverbs 3 says, if I give forth the first fruits, then my barns will be filled. I meditate on that. And I make sure that I want to give with a cheerful heart. So that's just a little tidbit. Like I said, this is a quick cast. You know, we'll go more in depth in this. Right? But I'm telling you, that's the one way you renew your mind. Okay, Romans 12 and 2 says, we got to renew our mind. Renew our mind. What? With the word of God. And that's how we formulate, and that's how we start developing, right, the mind of Christ that is within the believer. So this has been a quick cast. Like I said, I'll go uh, later on. I'm going to do a more thorough teaching on this. But God bless. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, God bless you.